Say hello to Ollie, a new kind of temporary local transit service being tried out in the West Rouge neighborhood of Scarborough. Ollie is an autonomous shuttle being tested through a partnership between the City of Toronto, TTC and Metrolinx. For now, though, the only human you'll see on board is an attendant. Mayor John Tory in a video posted to Twitter calling the project innovative. It's also innovating and doing some new things to help you get to where you need to go. We're concerned with service right now. Meanwhile, Sheila Paisy Allen is a spokesperson for TTCRiders.ca, a community group that describes itself as a voice for transit riders. She says she's not sold on Ollie's temporary addition to the fleet. Self-driving vehicles will not replace buses. They don't have the capacity. We have concerns about safety and accessibility, and ultimately we need more operating funding to add buses on our roads now to win back riders and also make sure transit is safe and um, frequent across Toronto. She says she also has some questions about the location selected for the pilot. Has a median income of $124,000 per year. So one of our questions is, will self-driving vehicles um, be a premium service in wealthy neighborhoods? In a written statement, the city says testing and mapping for the shuttle is ongoing and is expected to last six to eight weeks before passenger service can begin, taking passengers to and from Rouge Hill GO Station. This has been a... Uh long and winding road to get to this point. At the same time, this geography and planning professor at U of T says the technology has come a long way and still has a long way to go. This this does have a history and um, it's it's there, there's both the technology aspect of it that has to be uh, refined uh, and then there's also the dynamic of how it works within cities to make sure that it actually pr provides a service that people are using. For decades, we've all been sitting around pondering the self-driving car was it kind of inevitable that that same technology was also going to be used sort of in, in the, the public transit sector as well? What's interesting is that it's, it, it's likely that the public transit sector is actually uh, uh, going to be further ahead than the autonomous vehicle. Uh, if you think about how uh, uh, maintenance of these new technologies is going to work uh, and how the economics of them is, is going to work, it's likely that it's going to be fleets uh, first before it goes to fully autonomous vehicles for individual cars uh, because of the risk and the liability. People who want to ride the shuttle will, however, need to book a trip to keep contact to a minimum due to COVID-19 restrictions. The pilot itself may extend until the end of February, depending on how Ollie performs in winter weather. For City News, I'm David Zura.